Blackhawk is a six-shot single-action revolver which was designed by Ruger based on the Colt single-action army revolver which Colt discontinued prior to World War II. And there's a lot of things you probably know about the Ruger Blackhawk. What we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Ruger Blackhawk. Number one, during the 50s westerns were wildly popular. They were the biggest films out there. And the brand new Sturm Ruger and company decided to jump onto this bandwagon and produce the single six based on the popularity of westerns. Shortly after, they made a centerfire version called the Ruger Blackhawk based on the Colt single action army pistol, which is of course the gun that won the west. So it was really Hollywood's influence that kind of created this passion for these western style pistols in the 50s and the 60s. Number two, three screw versus two screw. Now, a lot of people do know the difference between these two. The first had three screws. However, they didn't have a safety mechanism. But a lot of people knew this, so they carry this gun with five rounds, leaving the barrel chamber empty. However, in the 60s, there were several lawsuits against Ruger, primarily because Ruger advertised this gun as a six shooter. This is why they lost these lawsuits. And it was this decision to advertise this way that made them responsible for every accidental discharge involving the Ruger Blackhawk. Number three, the Ruger Blackhawk started as a 357 Magnum in 1956. And immediately after Smith & Wesson announced that they were creating this new 44 Magnum round that Ruger chose to caliber it in the 44 Magnum over the 45 Long Colt, as a new caliber primarily because of the wisdom in the 44 Magnum. Because what you have with a 44 Magnum over a 45 Long Colt is you have the exact same size gun but much thicker steel because you don't need that thicker caliber with similar ballistics. Number four, the time that goes into designing, testing, redesigning, retesting, and then producing a firearm is quite an expensive and time consuming thing to do. However, the Ruger Blackhawk and 44 Magnum released only a few months after Smith & Wesson announced that they were even making a 44 Magnum led to a lot of speculation. Some of that speculation was that somebody from Smith & Wesson was able to get some test cartridges to Ruger. Other speculation suggests that somebody with Ruger found some empty casings and brought them to Ruger and then they just thought it was brilliant and produced the Ruger Blackhawk. 44 Magnum but either way, there definitely had to be some knowledge of this particular round way before the Black Hawk was even being produced. Number five, there are 16 calibers of Black Hawks being produced, ranging from a 30 carbine all the way up to a 480 Ruger. Number six, the Ruger Black Hawk had a very popular pop culture. Several movies from Sin City to The Annihilators as well as TV shows including The X-Files, including video games from 007 Goldeneye, as well as several anime movies, use the Ruger Blackhawk as a prop. Number seven, the three screw is always the most sought after one, not just because of the awesome action compared to the two screws, it gets bigger than that. In the 1960s, they started producing ears around the rear sights to protect them. So the Ruger Blackhawk became slightly bigger. But it was in 1973 that all large Magnum Blackhawks were starting to be produced with a much larger frame, grip, and barrel. And a lot of people like this smaller framed revolvers. Number eight, in 2005 with the introduction of the Vaquero, medium framed larger caliber Magnum revolvers were back on the shelf. Primarily because of all the complaints they were getting on the, the difference in sizes of the Blackhawk. I keep hoping for a new Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum in a smaller frame. I'll keep hoping. Number nine, the Blackhawk has been so popular there has been over a million of these guns produced. And finally number 10, Ruger Red Hawk is often mistakenly described as being like a Blackhawk but with a single action double action trigger. In fact it is nothing like a Blackhawk. The Red Hawk was designed by Harry Seffried. In the late 60s and 70s, Harry made the Ruger Security 6. He was also the designer previously of the high standard Sentinel revolver. 
And Red Hawk, which was introduced in 1980, took most of its design from these pistols designed by Harry. So unlike all other double action revolvers, the Red Hawk's design was unique in that this Ruger design had a one piece frame. And it was by the mid 80s that Ruger Red Hawk started to have some breaking problems where the, the barrel was literally separating from the frame because of this design. Now they have of course since fixed that, but that's kind of what you get in a Red Hawk. So other than the similar look and a name, the Ruger Black Hawk absolutely stands alone. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us at GodFamilyAndGuns.org and GodFamilyAndGuns at Facebook. You can also now become a Patreon and our Patreon link is directly below. But by far the most important part of this YouTube channel is that it is a ministry to us and we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.